Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be answering a viewer's question of how to create text that follows a path. This is a very simple process in the Lattice 2 workbench. Just requires some preparation which is pretty easy and we can use that for open and closed geometry. So I hope you're enjoying these videos and let's have a look at this technique. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to span the channel. So to create text that follows a path, we're going to be using the Lattice 2 workbench the draft workbench and the sketcher. If you haven't got Lattice 2, come up to tools, add on manager, and we can install it from there. The first thing we're going to be needing is a path to follow. So I'm going to be using the sketcher and I'm going to create a sketch along the XY plane and I'm going to create a path in here. I'm going to drop this down and use an ellipse path and we're going to create some kind of path in here, something like that. It's up to you what path you want to create, whether it's open, closed, it's totally up to you. Let's close that and we now have our path. I'm now going to come over to something called the Lattice 2 workbench and this is a workbench of arrays and placements. And I'm going to create a custom placement to array around using something called a path array. To do that, I'm going to come up to the Lattice 2 come down to Lattice Placement and create a single placement of custom. Our placement has been added. Let's just hit OK. And now I've got to array this across this path and make this follow around this ellipse. Let's come into the draft workbench. And now I'm going to select the custom. This is known as a kite. And then I'm going to control select the path that I want to follow. Come to Modifications, Array Tools, and then I'm going to pick Path Link to Array. Those kites now follow that path. The default is four instances, and we can change this wherever we want. So for instance, I added five there. They're pointed in the wrong direction, so let's come into the Path Array and look at how they follow that path. We're looking for the alignment, and we need to set that to true. When we click off, our kites now follow this path. We can alter the alignment again by clicking on the path array, look at the alignment and force the vertical. I'm going to set it to true. And those kites now lay across this path. If I wanted to add text to here first, I need to create a collection of these points. To do that, we come over to the Lattice 2 workbench. When these are in a collection, we can actually use another collection of letters against it to place them at these points. And you see here that we have an icon, the square brackets denote it's a collection. So we're gonna place a collection against a collection. So a collection of objects against a collection of kites. If we have one letter to place along here, then we'd use this one, which is an object against a collection of kites. Let's click on the path array and prepare this so we can take our next steps. Come out to Lattice 2, come into the Lattice Placement, and then I'm going to use the Placement of Shape. And this will link those kites together. At the moment, you can see an extra kite has appeared. If I click on this Placement of Path Array, it's actually just produced one kite. We've got to tell it to use the children of the original kite. So we only placed one kite before. We need to add the children in there rather than the original. We come down to the lattice array from shape. We got the compound traversal. Come into here saying use as whole. We want direct children only. Let's click direct children only and click off. We now got this placement as the path that we need. There's some options in the original custom custom placement to flip Z and invert if we need them. So I can set this to true and it will cascade down 
to the placement of path array. And you can see we've reversed the kite, so it's now upside down. Let's set that back. This will come in handy if our text is around the wrong way. Now we've got our kites. Let's add the text. In Lattice 2, you'll find text in here. So if we come up to Lattice 2, we've got something called shape string for array. Click on that, we've got a shape string here. The string appears in the tree view. Let's click on it. And let's come down and you can see we've got the font file, the font size, the tracking alignment as well, X and Y alignment. And we've got strings here. If we click on the button on the end, we get the strings. Now, if I'm gonna place a string in here, let's say we place the words follow, then we have to do them on every line. So it's a line per character. If we add a space, then we need to press the space bar on a new line as well, and then carry on with our text. And hit OK. This will become a stack of letters but this is a collection of characters. So now we can take this collection of characters, control select the placement of path array, and use this icon here, populate with children, because we're taking a collection of objects and placing them against a collection of kites. We'll come up to lattice two, populate with children, populate with children. It will warn you about the number that we have in there because we have only got five kites. Let's continue. And those have been placed around there. So let's come into the original path array and change the amount of objects in there. So let's set this to 11. And you can see that our text now follows around this path. If this text was upside down, we can come into the custom and use the flip Z and set this to true. And this will flip it around the other way. Remember, we've got the align modes as well. So we can set the false vertical, the vertical vector, if we want to change the vector. So we zero out the Z and place a one in the X. And this will change that kite to go around this way. To extrude these, all we have to do is click on the populate placement of path array of strings, and we need to come up to the lattice two, and we need to do a parametric downgrade, and we downgrade those to leaves. This will create an object in here that is now a compound object, and we can use that over in the part workbench to extrude against. I'm just gonna go 10 millimeters there and hit okay. So that's now extruded that object. We can hide the path array and the sketch and the original placement of path array and the strings from screen. And now we have the text following the path which has been extruded. This path can be open or closed geometry it can be made up of a number of edges. Just make sure that you select each of the edges with a control select when you're using the array tool in the draft workbench. So I hope that's useful and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.